All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I give all praises, all honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakadash. I give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great most of them who rule well and taught me this truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to our brothers out there throughout the full conserve, pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. But the Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back for another quick lesson through the Spirit and Prayer, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And as you see on the screen, this is another uh, GMS newspaper, okay? And uh, this is going to um, be entitled Food Shortages, okay? And uh, this is uh, going into it. It says um, from Parade.com, it says, Here are the groceries you might be missing on on store shelves due to food shortages in 2022. Okay, this is posted March uh, 20, 25th, uh, 2022. Okay, so about you know a couple weeks ago, all right. And uh, hey man, they are showing you the imagery, man. Nothing on the shelves, right? It says, uh, it says, if you've seen your local grocery store with empty shelves, you're not alone, all right. So, off rip, they're saying this is happening all over the country. It says, food shortages are still haunting us in 2022 on march 24th 2022 president biden warned of food shortages due to russian invasion of ukraine it's going to be real it's going to be real he said of food shortages it says the price of these sanctions is not just sake it's not just imposed upon russia it's imposed upon an awful a lot of countries as well including european countries and our and our country as well both russia and ukraine have been the breadbasket of europe in terms of wheat for an example, just to give you one example, it says, find out below what food shortages are most common, why there's a grocery shortage, and why shelves may be empty where you shop, okay? It goes into food shortages, so let's see. Um, I just want to get the, one, the ones that they're saying is going to be food shortages. Grocery store shortages for C. Current, yep, the current food shortages. So they're about to go into the, the food shortages right now. It says meat shortages, especially beef and poultry, will plague us again in 2022. It says uh, Daniel say that the meat and poultry are in short supply in many supermarkets. This is due to several factors with manufacturing plant labor shortages causing most of the issues. Beef will likely see the most shortage be because work in beef plants are more labor intense, according to Food Business uh, News. This is what else? Dairy may be in short supply this year which was what's considered in dairy your uh your milks okay your uh your eggs is in the dairy aisle your butters you know all, all that the cheeses all that stuff is in the shortage right now okay it says there may be an egg shortage again now that's in the dairy aisle okay let's see what else it says um going down it says sorry vegans Okay, so for people that say, oh, yeah, I'm a vegan, so I'm good, right? It says, sorry, vegans, plant-based proteins may be in short supply this year. All right, so the Lord's getting everybody. It doesn't mean if you just eat vegetables. It says what? We may see shortages of fruits, vegetables, and other goods made with with produce, okay? So it's not just for the meat eaters, okay? It's for the vegetarians, too. The vegans, okay, what else to see? There will likely be canned food shortages in 2022, okay? It says we may see shortages in imported goods too, 
okay? Uh, we may see, you may experience pet food shortages, okay? Bottled water and soda uh, shortages may occur, okay? Toilet paper, yeah, toilet paper, paper towels, and other paper goods may face shortages, okay? See, the Lord's not playing, man. There's really about to be a famine out here, a lack of resource, okay? It says, you may see, like you. it says, you may have to see no, no to noodles in case of pasta shortages, okay? It says, uh, boo to boo shortage, okay? But liquor may be hard to come by. <laughs> hey, it, it tells you, man, these people want to want to drink, man. Okay, but guess what? There ain't going to be no drink to, to soothe you, man. Okay, all right? It's about to get real bad out here, okay? It says winter storms may cause empty shells for the short term, and climate change is causing long-term issues. And as this, as they, you know, always promote, okay? You know, just going through these, man. Let's see. Uh, yep, you know? So I advise, the Lord's will be able to put this in the description below, but this is at parade.com. And when you go to uh, Duck, Duck, Go, type in food shortages, this should be the first thing to pop up, okay? You know? So, you know, this is what the Lord says is going to happen anyway, okay? You know, but guess what? Hey, that, hey it's not going to uh, matter, man, if you stock up food or not. It's all going to uh, come to naught, man. This is why you need to turn back to your Howell Bashim Yahushua, the word and cause God and Jesus Christ, okay? You know, turn back to the God of the Bible while you still can, all right? Because all, <laughs> all this stuff is about to happen, man, okay? And the Lord is about to get down on this place in America. Let's see, let's get this. It's Second Ezra chapter 15. Um, let's see. I'm going to start at verse uh, 14. It says, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. All right, so woe means death and destruction to the people that live on this planet, man. All right, especially to the Israelites that don't want to turn back into the God of the Bible, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Woe well, unto you. It says, why? It says, for the sword and the destruction draw not. All right, we know that sword is any instrument of destruction, but mainly according to the scriptures and Psalms, it tells you that the wicked is the Lord's sword. So that's Esau, Edom, the so-called white, white man. Okay, it says, for the sword and destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So there's going to be infightings amongst families, okay, amongst uh, neighborhoods, okay, race riots, class riots, you know, all, all that. It's going to be just be war against people, people against people in, play, in, in America, man, okay? You know, it's going to be all out uh, anarchy, okay? It says, for there shall be sedition among men, meaning uprising against the government, okay? Because well, what will make... Uh, uh, people to rise against the government okay no food no food people are gonna be mad as hell okay oh why you put these sanctions on this why you put these sanctions on that my now nah, i can't eat are you you know y'all not doing nothing about it this time that people will get roused up okay it says for there should be sedition among men and invading one another so home invasions are going to increase okay kicking your door away from the foe foe you know trying to get all the goods they can get for the low <laughs> it says it says um they shall not regard their kings nor princes all right so they're not going to regard the kings nor princes meaning what the rulers of the cities okay you know your mayors your chief of police your uh your sheriffs your uh um your governors okay your uh, uh so yeah your mayors your city councils your governors your uh, Congress, they're not going to care. The president, they're not going to care about what they got to say. It says, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. I mean, what? Whatever man desires to do in that day, they're going to be able to do it. Okay? And you think a man, you know, Jake already over here standing in line beating judges' heads over 
over Jordans, man. Okay, so how much more food when it comes to your stomach touching your back? Okay, it says a man should desire to go into the city and should not be able because they're gonna be locking down the cities with martial law. Okay, and it's gonna be uh harder than the martial law that you see over there in China. Okay, <laughs> and in Russia, man, it's gonna be worse than that. Okay, it says for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. All right, and when you talk about the cities. All right, it's talking about the people in the cities, okay? All right, so for the p- pride of the people in these cities, they shall be troubled. It says, and, this, and houses shall be destroyed, all right? Literal houses are going to be, you know, um, blown to pieces, you know, with martial law troops running through them, tanks running over. Also, you think about it, houses, people, man. Lineages are going to be destroyed out here, man, okay? You know, whole, whole lineages are going to be done away with, okay? It says... And men shall be afraid. Men are going to be so afraid. So how much more the weaker vessel the woman? Okay. All right. It's going to be, it's going to be nothing, man. There will be no independent woman in that day. All right. Strong, independent woman. Okay. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Meaning what? That love, that so-called neighborly love of helping your neighbor to stand there. That's going out the window. And it already has. Because scripture tell you, since iniquity has bound with the love of me shall wax cold. Let's get that. Get that precept. Yeah, this is Matthew 24 and, and 12. It says, Because iniquity, what sin upon sin upon sin, shall abound to what? Increase. So you see seeing Jake, all right, getting more wicked and wicked and wicked even more. Okay, wickedness is being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth at a high time, at an all time high. It says, The love of many shall wax cold. Meaning, what? The love of many have that. You know, that neighborly love, that, you know, kindness, that consideration for your neighbor. All right. That's good. That's waxing cold, man. means what? It's not fervent no more. Okay. Fervent means hot. You know, cold meaning dead, really. And hot meaning, you know, alive. Okay. It's going to wax cold. It's going to become dead out here of having love for uh, your neighbor. Okay. So now going back, it says, uh. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, no mercy, no pity, no care, okay, no love. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, okay, you know, with the instrument of uh, destruction, where the, you know, the modern day sword is the gun, all right, and it says, and spoil their goods, what, what they have in their shelves at the crib, what, what they got from the groceries, their goods, okay, their resources, it says, because of lack of bread, because what? Lack of food, and for great tribulation, troubling times, okay? Hard times. People will get fired from their jobs, you know? Uh, uh, a shortage in work, okay? Which is going to cause a shortage in the ability to what? To buy food, okay? All this is going to be happening, man, okay? You know? And as the scriptures tell you, man, what evils are going to increase on the earth, man, Okay? And we're seeing that right now. So we're going to see heavy food shortages, man. And we're only through the, what, the half, halfway through uh, 2020, uh, too. We got a whole other half to go. And it's going to be going nothing but downhill from here, man. Okay? It said for lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right? So people are going to become cold-hearted. All right? Because they haven't ate. Okay? Or and for the, just the troubling times that we're coming into, this is why we tell our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to turn back to the God of the Bible, because it's really about to get a uh, grimy out here, <laughs> so to speak, man. Okay, you know this is what's going to happen. Now I'm going to look up this word, this word goods. All right, when he goes to Entomon. All right, it says goods. It's a noun. It says property, from plural of good. It says, uh, sellable commodities, okay? So it says, for goods, <laughs> they're going to spoil your goods, your sellable commodities. Whatever they see that's sellable, they're going to get. And that includes your women and your children. All right? Your women and children are going to be counted as commodities in this times. It says, in a sense, it's in the collateral sense, stolen articles, okay? Then it just said that they was going to spoil, which means to rob, Okay? So they're going to rob your goods, okay? Take your commodities, okay? 
steal your stuff. It says evidence of guilt. Let's see goods. Uh, let's see uh goods. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what goods mean, man. Okay, so it's all it's all through the spirit. But what? And with the food shortages, the goods are commodities. People are going to steal those things, okay? And it said for the lack of bread, okay? And for great tribulation. Now, well, what is tribulation? Let's get that. Let's see. Trib. Yep. It says tribulation, okay? And it's a noun. It says the state of affliction or oppression, suffering, or distress, all right, so it's going to be a, what, a whole lot of suffering, and distress, and afflictions in these times, right, okay, uh, distress, trouble, affliction, uh, let's see, uh, oppressed, or afflict, um, it says tribulation, it says an annoying or frustrating, can, catastrophic event, and that's what's about to happen to this place. With food shortage, this is about to be a very catastrophic event, okay, going on, all right? Because scriptures tell you, all right, uh, that, let's uh, see, let's get it. Um, all right, let's see. I'm, yep, it says, uh, this is um, Revelation 6 and 6. And in the and in, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, and this is talking about the the black horse, okay? He's trying to get straight to the point. He says, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou not hurt the oil and the wine. Now when you go back into the ancient Roman um empire, a penny was a day's worth. Of uh, wages, okay, payment, okay, all right. So, in these times, what is that? So your whole your whole check or or your payment, all right, is gonna equal up to a measure of wheat, okay. I mean, your whole check is gonna go just to be just to buy food, okay. Just the the same amount of food you was able to buy years ago, okay. It's gonna uh your 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 money is not gonna have the same buying power. So it's gonna take more more dollars to buy the simple things that you usually buy, okay? And that's what that's a, that's called a famine, okay? A lack of resource or something. And it says but but here's the key. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And what does that represent? The truth. So even though these things are gonna be happening, the truth is still gonna be in earth. Okay, it's not going to destroy the truth or the, or, you know, and the believers in the truth. Okay, but that's going to flourish, man, even more because what? The scriptures tell you that what? That these, you know, these prophecies are going to spring forth. I mean, they're going to come to life. Everything written in this book is going to happen no matter what. Okay, it's not going to neglect the truth because this is what we're telling. We're telling you that these things are going to come to pass. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 42 and 9. And it reads, it says, let's see, it says, behold, the former things have come to pass, meaning the old prophecies, the flood, 70 AD, you know, um, us going to slavery are just some, okay, of those former things. It says, and new things uh, do I declare. And what are some new things that the, we're declaring and making public in, in, in the streets by preaching and teaching on the streets and the YouTube? Start off for the apostles, elders of Great Muslim to the men on down. That what? The MOTB, okay, all right, is the Karagma. They're going to put the Karagma in you. And then, you know, World War II, Armageddon, Russia, and, you know, uh, you know, going against America and the EU, turning their back on America, okay, being America being destroyed. Those are the new things that we're declaring, making public. It says, before they spring forth, I tell you of them, okay? So before they spring forth, mean before they come to life, because the word spring means to, have, to come to life. All right, before they spring forth, the Lord is telling you, you of them, the what, the servants, the prophets, the mouthpiece of the Lord, okay? And if you don't want to hearken to it, guess what? You're going to be devoured, 
all right, with all the things that's to come, okay? But those that turn back into Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the Lord says that there's no want to them that fear him. Let's get that, all right? So those that trust in the Lord, we don't have nothing to worry about, all right? The Lord is going to provide everything that we need, and this is what the scriptures say. It says, um, this is Psalms 34, verses 8 and 9. It says, O taste and see, meaning experience. These are the things that we're going to experience. Lord's will be part of the elect. It says that Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is good. The Lord's going to be good unto us. Okay? The Lord's will be part of the elect. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. So if you trust in the Lord, you're highly favored. The Lord sees you as favored. He's going to take care of you. Okay? It says, O fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, ye saints, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Okay? There's no want to them that fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Okay? All right? But, yeah, you know, the Lord is going to give us everything that we need. Okay? So it says, what? Well, uh, uh, let's see. All right, so yeah, just want to quickly get that in spirit, you know, talk about these uh <laughs> these food prices and 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 these shortages and stuff like that, man. You know, the spirit of the Lord is uh really, you know, showing us that, hey, man, it's a good thing to fear your how about Shemel Shai and turn back unto him. So with that, hopefully, there's edifying to the elected nation of Israel. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhadash. I like to give double honor to our apostles and elders. A great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom on to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this word on righteousness and sincerity. Till next time, take a let. We say shalom on.